Hello and welcome. If you're new here, please click on the subscribe button. If you're returning here, hopefully you've already hit the subscribe button. But if not, now's a good time to do it. I built this little farmhouse table. I got the information from Matthew Peach. I'll put a link in the description below so you can take a look at his page. He's got all the pieces, parts, um, directions, how to put it together. It's got a little Etsy store so you can go on there and buy the um, cut list if you need to. But he did a really good job at explaining how to do it. There's a couple things I did a little different that I just want to go over and a couple things that did not work out quite as planned. So one of the first things I did differently is my bottom. Uh, my wife wanted the bottom to pretty much match the top. His is a little bit darker than mine. I used the same color stain, but I did. I put two coats on. Uh, the bottom, I did two coats on it. Now the bottom is um, just white pine. Uh, it's three quarter inch by, I think I got six by eight. Cut them down so it fit the slots. So that's what I used for my bottom. Uh, one thing I had to do that he didn't have to do, and again, this is the first table I built, so I'm not a carpenter by trade. So I'm quite happy with the way it was. But I ended up with a little bit of overhang on my edge, so my uh, breadboard did not fit perfectly flush. So what I did was I put my um, skill saw on here and just ran a nice straight line across both sides so I could attach this and make sure this was nice and even. All right, so one of the other things I did, um, as you can see, I've got tile floors. I'm gonna have to put some feet on here to keep it from sliding. So right now I'm gonna put my knee on it just to keep it from sliding on it while I push this back. When I open up my concealment, concealment worked out perfect. I used um, soft closing hinges. Do not use soft closing hinges. I don't know what I was thinking when I bought them. I made sure I bought some 100 pound heavy duty hinges so they would hold. I want to make sure they held the weight of the table back there. But the soft closing hinge part here catches a little bit on this side, so do not use soft closing hinges. Another thing I did is he's got his hinges set to the back of the table. I set mine to the front because I don't really need my table to open up all that way. And this is a heavy tabletop. I didn't want all that excess weight on my hinges, so I pushed my hinges to the front instead of to the back. All right, so the next thing is, is my AR-15, this is a diamond back, will not clear. So basically, I hit right here on this edge. So he's got his in here, and it looks really nice in there. I'm not sure what type of a weapon he has. Uh, didn't really pay much attention. I'd have to go back and look at the video. But his weapon actually fits underneath here. This will not. Now, if I had a pistol laying in here, uh, my Glocks would fit in here fine. I don't think they'd fit in with the holsters on, but you could put the holster beside if you were just storing them. But if you're going to put like an AR or something in here, make sure you measure the height of your AR and the distance between here and the shelf below. Now, another thing I did, he did pocket holes on the bottom of this. And again, watch this video. You'll see how he did it. So he did the pocket holes, put this in. I just went ahead and took a little scab piece of wood here and put under here and actually screwed it to the bottom. So my shelf would be a lot stronger on the sides, whereas these are just pocketed and it in front. So that, again, is another option. And that also, let's see if I can get the camera under here. It flushed out the bottom of my cabinet. So I can't go any lower than this unless I come down underneath of the, uh, um, the shelf below without exposing it. So in other words, my weapon won't fit in here without modifying this somehow at the top. There's a couple of places where the table hit just a little bit on the shelf because, again, they're just two by fours, two by sixes. I put a little bit of like this little feeding wax that I use for like my uh, saws and stuff just to help things slide better. Put a little bit of that on there and that helped actually slide across it. After you open it 20 or 30 times, eventually the wood's going to scuff off whatever it needs anyhow and it'll open better. But if you get a little stuck spot, um, that worked out pretty good to get rid of that. Let me make this a little more difficult. This is the last thing when I close it. If you watch, he does the same thing when I pull it this way. Again, my soft closes kind of catch on me. I pick up a little bit, it pulls the rest of the way shut. So again, it's not a thousand percent perfect. It could have been something I did wrong in the first place, but it works, it functions. Don't use soft close hinges. His cut list was pretty much spot on. I didn't have to change anything on his cut list besides what I screwed up. Um, but all the dimensions fit, all the widths fit. Um, can't complain. Anyhow, go to his page. Link's in the description below. Watch how he built it. And if I do another one of these, which I'm probably going to have to make end tables now since this one turned out good, I'll start recording when I do them. It's just, you know, when you don't do this for a living, it's harder for you to record it and do it right and then try to edit out your mistakes.